Pope Francis held a beatification ceremony at the Vatican today, the end of a very difficult meeting where bishops failed to agree on some of the church's most challenging issues. Alan Pizzi is in Rome. The mass that elevated Pope Paul VI to one step short of sainthood also wrapped up the latest Synod of Bishops, a concept he created. In his homily, Pope Francis quoted Paul VI as saying that the Synod must make every effort to adapt ways and methods to the growing needs of our times and the conditions of society. It was a clear allusion to what the Synod which ended yesterday fell short of doing. Paul VI was criticized by liberals for reaffirming the church's ban on artificial contraception and by conservatives for allowing mass to be said in the vernacular. He also chalked up an impressive list of papal firsts. Father Thomas Rosica calls him the original pilgrim pope. He's the first pope to really take the show on the road from here. People say that he was the first modern pope, renounced the tiara. He renounced all kinds of trappings with the papacy. The first pope to leave Italy in 150 years, Paul VI visited six continents. On a trip to the U.S. in 1965, he held an outdoor mass at Yankee Stadium and in a stirring address to the U.N. uttered a fervent cry, no more war. The attributed miracle required for his beatification also has a U.S. connection. An American woman who was urged to have an abortion because her fetus had a serious health defect that threatened brain damage claims she prayed to Pope Paul VI for intercession instead. The child, a boy, is now a healthy 13-year-old. Francis praised Paul VI as someone who could hold fast with farsightedness and wisdom. In many ways, the two popes seem to have been cut from the same cloth. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Rome.